in Microservices Communication with .NET 5. I'm a software architect and currently focusing on microservices and the communications. In this course, we are going to learn how to build highly performant inter-service communication with gRPC for ASP.NET 5 microservices. We will introduce gRPC as a modern high-performance RPC framework for ASP.NET Core and for inter-service communication. gRPC uses HTTP2 as base transport protocol and protobuf encoding for efficiency and fast communication. Microservices are modern distributed systems. So with gRPC in ASP.NET 5, we will develop high-performance cross-platform applications for building distributed systems and APIs. It is an ideal choice for communication between backend microservices, internal network applications, or IoT devices and services. With the release of ASP.NET 5, Microsoft has added first-class support for creating gRPC services with ASP.NET 5. This course will let you get started building, developing and managing gRPC servers and clients on distributed microservices architectures. Let's see the overall picture. You can see that we will have six microservices which we are going to develop one by one. We will use worker services and ASP.NET 5 gRPC applications for building client and servers gRPC components defining protobuf service definitions contracts. We will implement e-commerce e logic with only gRPC communications. We will have three gRPC server applications, which are the product, shopping cart, and discount gRPC services. And we will have two worker services, which are the product and shopping cart worker service. Worker services will be the client and perform operations over the gRPC server applications. And we will secure the gRPC services with standalone identity server microservices with OAuth 2 and JVT token. First of all, we are going to develop product gRPC project. This will be the ASP.NET gRPC server web application and exposing APIs for product crudding operations. After that, we are going to develop product worker service project for consuming product gRPC services. This will worker service project will be the client of the product gRPC application and generate the products and insert bulk product records into product database by using client streaming gRPC proto services of product gRPC application. This operation will be in a time interval and looping as a service, service application. After that, we are going to develop shopping cart gRPC project. This will be the ASP.NET gRPC server web application and exposing APIs for shopping cart and shopping cart item operations. The gRPC services will be create shopping cart and add or remove item into shopping cart. After that, we are going to develop shopping cart worker service project for consuming shopping cart gRPC services. This shopping cart worker service project will be the client of both product gRPC and shopping cart gRPC application. This worker service will read the products from the product gRPC and create shopping cart and add product items into shopping cart by using gRPC proto services of product gRPC and shopping cart gRPC application. This operation will be in a time interval and looping as a service application. When adding the product item into shopping cart, it will retrieve the discount value and calculate the final price of product in the discount gRPC server application. This communication also will be the gRPC call with the shopping cart gRPC and discount gRPC application. Also, we are going to develop centralized standalone authentication server with implementing Ident Server 4 package and the name of the microservice will be the Ident Server. Ident Server 4 is an open source framework which implements the OpenID Connect and OAuth 2 protocol for .NET Core. With Ident Server, we can provide to protect our shopping cart gRPC services with OAuth 2 and JVT tokens. Shopping cart worker will get the token before sent the request to shopping cart gRPC server application. Okay, let's check our project code structure on Visual Studio Solution Explorer window. You can see the four solution folder and inside of that folders, you will see the gRPC server and client worker projects, which we had seen on the overall picture. If we expand the projects, you will see that under the product folder, product gRPC is a gRPC ASP.NET application, which includes CRUD API operations. Product worker service is a worker service template application, which consumes and performs operations over the product gRPC server application. In the same way, you can follow the shopping cart and discount folders. Let me open shopping cart folder and discount folder. And also we have identity server is a standalone identity provider for our architecture.
Let's run the application and see what we are going to develop together. We should run multiple startup projects. So right click solution and see the run configuration. As you can see that we will start gRPC servers and identity server application. After that I will perform the .NET run command for worker service application in order to show you more clearly. So I'm going to start the application. Run all gRPC servers. As you can see that all servers application are running well. Okay, this is the shopping cart gRPC. This is the product gRPC. This is the identity server and this will be the discount service. Okay, now you can go to the shopping cart service project and start with the shopping cart worker. You can go here and create a new command window. And we can run the .NET run command. You can see that shopping cart worker retrieves product from the product gRPC and create shopping cart and this products into shopping cart item. When shopping cart items adding into shopping cart, the discount information also retrieved for calculation of the last price with the additional gRPC call. All these operations handled with the gRPC calls and implement both server and client streaming proto method calls. By the end of the course, uh, you will have a practical understanding of how to use gRPC to implement a fast and distributed microservice systems and also you will learn how to secure protected gRPC services with ITAN server in a microservice architecture. Before beginning the course you should be familiar with the ASP.NET and C Sharp. This course will have a good theoretical information but also you will be 90% of hands-on development activities. I hope you will be joining with me on this journey and develop this project with me.